where we're at. I haven't filmed a lot of what I was doing on the black dress because I realized I was doing way too many videos for this. But I wanted to show you the progress. So here is the dress. I fixed the top. I hemmed the bottom. It may look really short, but on me, it hits where I need it to hit for walking. Um, I put trim on the sleeves. I haven't worried about putting trim here on the bottom yet. I want to get the robe done first so I can see how that will look. And then if I just get back here. I have sewn the buttons and I've added um, this string so that I can tie up the back. Uh, aside from trim, the dress is essentially done. Anything else I do to it is going to be um, putting just little touches here and there. It took me a couple of tries to get the bodice correct. I had to stitch, hand stitch things, unstitch it, hand stitch it again until I got it to the right. Same thing with the hem. I'm terrible at hemming. I've had to put it together, take it apart, put it together before I finally sewed it. Um, but all in all, I think we are good. Next step, cutting out my purple fabric. Before I start cutting, uh, the important, the other important thing is which of these threads is the right thread. Um, I bought these when I bought the fabric, but then forgot I had this as well. Um, okay, I'm at the point where I'm cutting the fabric, and uh, calling for the back piece and two side pieces. And I skipped the side pieces for the dress. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to skip them for the outer robe. Here's what it's supposed to look like. And uh, so I've cut out the back piece and I've pinned it up on here um, to kind of see where it will sit. And uh, from the front, it it's pretty far back. I do want it to come a little more forward so that there's just a little bit of the black in the center instead of that much of it showing. So I'm probably going to cut the side pieces for this one um, because I do want more material in the front and I do want some nice pleating along it. So I'm going to cut everything out that it says to cut out in the regular purple fabric um, except for the sleeves. Pretty sure I'm not going to do sleeves and I'll let the black sleeve show and just have it be like it just sits over almost like a really long vest in a way I guess horrors I don't know if I have enough of the shimmery material to um, cut out the top parts I did the skirts and then I'm just trying to see what it looks like um, if it's some shimmery and some non shimmery let me get over here where you can see it a little better uh, it definitely, definitely needs the shimmery, I believe. Uh, the other thing I need to think is, do I want to attach the bottom edges together, or do I want to leave them free-flowing? And I might, might want to leave them free-flowing. So hem the bottom, like only attach them at the top and hem the bottom edges separately from one another. Um, which means what I will probably need to do is do them all on their own. I'm about to make this more complicated than it probably needs to be. For Lots of decisions have to be made with the purple because I'm putting shimmery over um, matte. So I was trying to see which way I have to hem it. Obviously, if I put them together, wrong sides together, and then flip it out the way you would normally do, you can see the seam edge. Whereas if I sew it 
over like that. It's obviously better. Yeah. You can just see that too much. The other thing is I was testing the um, the threads and actually the one I thought was going to work shows a lot more than the one I initially bought. So after seeing it this way, I'm going to stick with the one I initially bought because this one stands out a lot. Um, if I pull it away, this one almost disappears, but I can still see this one. The good news is that I did have just enough fabric. I had these little remnants left over so I could test this stuff, but I could cut out all the pieces, so. Up next, the paints. I have a silver, a purple, a blue, a neon pink, and a darker pink. So I'm going to paint strips on this piece of remnant so that then I can put this over it and see which colors show up best. I've tested the colors on both the shimmery and the regular fabric. Right off the bat, you can tell the purple is no go. It almost comes out black if it doesn't just blend right in. So nix on the purple. The blue, it's going to be hard to tell until it dries out completely. The neon pink and the dusty pink definitely. Um, the darker pink does come out more of an orangey color in person than a pink. And then the silver shows up very well. This is the stencil I bought. Um, I'm hoping that I can do three of these, one on the two side panels and one on the back panel. So I'll have three of this motif. If not, then I'll just put it on the back panel alone. I'll have to kind of decide what looks best. The question is the colors to use. Obviously the two pinks will kind of show up and the silver but is there another color I want to use? Like, do I want to put some green in here to make leaves? Maybe some yellows, oranges? Yeah, it's going to be hard to figure this out. I am, I am not an artist when it comes to color. Um, I might have to put some calls out to some people and be like, hey! I don't know what to do. I I am not, yeah. Performance art, okay at. Uh, this kind of art, not my thing. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit about that piece, but I really, really want this lotus pattern on here somewhere because obviously I am paying homage to the Yingming Xiang clan in Mo Dao Zi Shi. And a lotus is their symbol, so a lotus has to be on the fabric somewhere. I really want this lotus on there. I really do. And while part of me is thinking maybe I just paint it a dark color so it doesn't stand out too much, I, I want it to stand out. I know the costume in the live action version that Xiantong wears does not really have too many bright, bright colors. It's mostly the purples and the blacks with some silvers and things in there. But I feel like Xiang Yangli, Madame Yu, would probably have slightly more brighter colors, um, especially Xiang Yangli. And since I am doing this as more of an homage to the entire Yuming Xiang clan and not just Xiantong specifically, I, I really, I really want a beautiful lotus design on here somewhere. And I'm freaking out because if I screw this up, it's going to be bad. So I'll probably test it on, I have some purple fabric left over that is large enough to handle one round of this. I'll probably test it on there, see what it looks like. Um, once I kind of see what colors will show up. 
before I paint it on the actual fabric I'm using. Why, why did I decide to do this? I decided to test all of the colors. <laughs> so I have painted a swatch of all the colors here and I'm gonna wait, let them dry and see what looks best and go from there. I decided to give the Lotus stencil a go last night. So with greens and blacks and reds and oranges and pinks and yellows. And this was the test result. I am, uh, I don't know, I'm not really a fan. This is it with the shimmery over it, if I take the shimmery off. This is how it looks. I definitely don't like the yellow where it is. I think maybe I would want to put it more in like the middle somewhere to be more like the inside of a flower. The green is fine. The pink is fine, which is kind of the center. Even the orange is a little okay. Um, and I took some silver and outlined some areas on the bottom, which I like, but I just don't like this overall color scheme. So I've gone back to the drawing board. I've taken some of the colors that I had used and mixed them with white to lighten them a bit, especially the blue and the purple, because I really want a like kind of lavender or bluish effect in there too. And so now here's what I've done. I'm waiting for it to dry. Again, I am not an artist, but I kind of like this color scheme so lighter green some of that light blue on the outer slightly darker purple then an even lighter purple and then light pink with yellow in the center but with that design yeah yeah that's that's the ticket that's what i want also realize it is early in the morning and this is how i woke up <laughs> like I have to get this in my head right this was bothering me i went to bed and i was like i'll sleep on it i woke up i was like nope 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 so um the other issue is this paint bleeds through the fabric real easy and it sticks to things so this test fabric actually stuck to the cardboard and now it's got pieces of cardboard stuck on the back so i'm gonna have to do a little research on how i prevent that Maybe wax paper. We'll see. The other thing I did last night was I attached the um, shimmery material to the uh, matte material for the bodice part last night, you know, with the whip stitching, because I was hoping to at least get that sewn today. But I did order some things from Amazon that are supposed to come today. Some of it might be lights. I don't know. I, I kind of really want to do lights on this, especially for the Labyrinth of Jareth Ball, because it would look really, really cool. The rims are very dark and light up things show up very well, not necessarily at Comic-Con, but at Labyrinth of Jareth Ball would be fantastic but I again am not engineeringly inclined nor am I very good at this stuff so but I am I'm determined to try it at least um, and then I'll have to figure out how to attach it because I don't want it on the outside and I'm, I'm rambling it's too early okay I'm done I am about to yeet something out window. I obviously have never sewn with this type of material before and it's a beast. I have changed the tension because it puckers so I've tried changing the tension. I've tried changing the foot. I tried changing the thread count, the speed. I have reordered time. I have turned the world upside down and I have done it all for you. And I am tired.
of living up to its expectations. It has broken my thread every time. Every time, for some reason, the thread comes out of the needle. My guess is this is not the correct thread. My guess is somewhere along the way, there is a tension setting, a thread count setting, uh, a, a, a different type of footer I'm supposed to do. There's something I am supposed to use for this. And I have spent quite a bit of time trying to find it online and I can't. And I am almost done with the top and I, I don't know what to do. It is seriously, so I, I am, I'm walking away for a little bit. I'm not going to finish the top just yet, or I might, and then walk away. The good news is, is that from the outside, um, it doesn't actually look that bad, right? Like, you can't really tell. The only things I'm really going to have to do something about is where I edged this seam to keep this piece down. Um, I'm going to have to buy trim. And I just don't know what kind of trim to put on this so that I can hide this. This. Puckering. I am... It was all going so well. And I should have trusted my instincts and that it was going too well. And now I see why. Okay, so I'm going to finish attaching the last part of the top. I'm going to press some stuff. And then I am going to walk away from it for a while. Walk away from all of it. Just take a breather before I lose my mind. Remember how I said I bought some things on Amazon? Well, they arrived. <laughs> yes! Lights! They're a little bit further spaced off than what I would want. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to attach them or if I want them, you know, like the modes and the settings because I can change, you know, the way they blink at me and the speed or whatever. Or I could just do solid colors, but, but so far so good. Oh, and I did buy some other things, for instance, earrings that light up. And did I mention I bought myself a bracelet and a ring. So this is going to be the Stien effect. Um, I looked for official MDZS uh, Jiang or Yunming uh, stuff, merchandise, but I didn't really like any of it. Um, and so I decided to go with this. It's kind of more reminiscent of the live action than the Dongwa or the Manawa. But yeah, I'm just gonna find a chain or something that attaches the ring to the snake. Um, oh yes, I will be a lit up little bell at the ball when I go to the Labyrinth of Jareth evening. Also, I guess you noticed I did finish putting this together um, and I've got it hanging on here for now. I'm gonna go run some errands, but before I did that, I went and checked my packages and these came in and I was so excited and I don't know what to do with myself. I love this thing. It's purple stones, look at that. Isn't it perfect? And this I just love for everyday wear. I might find a way to be able to unattach it. Um, Okay. Okay, I needed to clear the chaos that is in my head because there's chaos in my space. Um, so I went to run some errands and I decided to go by a crafting store to see if I could get some inspiration and big brain moment. I walked in and I saw this, which is a fabric 
marker. So, means I could take this and copy it with the marker. Woo! Now, when I go to paint, I'm not getting globs of paint up underneath the stencil that can mess everything up. I can just paint within the lines or, you know, attempt to paint within the lines because it's me. But, um, inspiration hit. And so I'm gonna grow, uh, draw one on each of the side panels. This is the back panel. So I did two on this one and I'm gonna draw one on each of the side panels for the skirt bottom and then um, probably commence to painting and not do any more sewing today. I also uh, found some paint that you use on acrylic paint to make it more fabric paint friendly. Um, so I'm gonna use that as well and mix that. So when I get ready to paint, I'll mix that together and about little um, plastic things to store the paint in. So once I've mixed my paint, if I don't use it all on these two, then I can use it on the other ones. And that, that is my accomplishments for the day. And I'll take it. Mm -hmm.